like Casamigos. That's my shit, right? Casamigos, George Clooney did that. Um, Patron is a powerful one. Um, but think about it this way. If you own a tequila, okay, Casadores, I got to try that one out. I got to try that one out. Uh, what about Bob? So think about it. Imagine Casadores can only have uh, their tequila in three stores. How successful would that uh, tequila brewery be? It wouldn't be that successful. But the more distribution channels that Casadores is in, the, the more that they can uh, be successful. And that was one of the biggest things that I learned with the shrimp importing business because not only did we get into the shrimp, but we was also bringing in imported beer from Ecuador. So we were getting the shrimp from Honduras, we were bringing imported beer from uh, Ecuador. And we would go to these bars and you know ask them to pick up the beer. We would give them samples. Uh, we oh, it was it was some dope shit. It was cool as hell, dude. Um, and I got to be exposed to um, the Latin market, right? Um, and the more bars we had the more money that we were able to generate, the more exposure we got. Um, it got to the point where like, if, if we continued on the route that we were doing, we would eventually approach companies like Anheuser-Busch, Budweiser, and, and all of these guys. Now see, this is different because I'm not, I'm not working for somebody. It's like these, these are strong partnerships that we had. Um, and, and, and shout out to the Ecuadorian mafia again like this shit is crazy dude like but I want you I want you to listen to this groups control these things so if you think that you're gonna be running things as an individual solo man you better find a group a strong group to 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 link up with that's a fact because it's a classic example Dipset versus the Locks on the versus battle. The Locks came in as a unit, a group like the Navy SEALs, and Dipset came in as individuals. Cameron, Jim Jones, and uh, Jewel Santana. So individuals cannot compete with a group. So you need to lock in with a strong group, like some type of strong support system where they hold you down. In our situation, we had no, we had the intelligence, we had the muscle. It was the lack of capital that was allotted to different areas that we were doing. That was the bad thing. Uh, yeah, Hennessy, Hennessy XO. As you guys know, if you went to the liquor store on any given Friday, especially that's going to pick up. Uh, by the way, so at liquor stores. Uh, on a Friday, you'll find a beautiful woman standing in front of a desk saying, hey, would you like to try our new VSOP, Hennessy? Like, you know, like they're selling the shit out of it in the liquor store. You already know the liquor store sells the Hennessy XO, the white Hennessy, the, the Hennessy VSOP. You already know they sell this stuff, right? But Hennessy is smart enough to know that, hey, we need to get back into people's face. We need to we need to expose ourselves again. And they always have some beautiful ass female there and then some aggressive ass man, uh, salesman there. And they'd be like, what kind of night you about to have? Oh man, you gotta have this with your night. If you pick something up, you need to pick this bottle. Sales, selling, 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 selling. Next thing you know, weeks later, you wind up buying that Hennessy XO because you had a delightful experience from that. So the distribution is, is key. You, you got to look at yourself as Sosa from Scarface. You got to look at yourself like 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 Pablo Escobar and shit. You got to look at yourself like 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 Chapo. You know what I mean? High levels of distribution. I need to get my product everywhere. Not you per se. 
because you can't be everywhere, but your products can. Example. Shout out, shout out to Taria Avant again, right? She can't be here in Chicago, but her book can. Her book here in Chicago. Awesome book. Your products should be able to be distributed like cocaina. Huh? Is this shit on? Is this microphone on? Am I talking? Sometimes. All right, hey guys. My name is Ishmael. I am the owner of Mattering Notary Services. Um, I operate a fully mobile notary service here in Massachusetts. And I just wanted to take this time out to show my appreciation for Tiger. Um, I met Tiger less than a year ago, and he's been absolutely amazing. He's been supportive. He's been educating. He's been motivating. So for those of you who are watching this and you are contemplating whether or not you should be following his content or putting anything into um, into action, I highly recommend that you, I highly recommend his services. I highly recommend his books. I have one right here, The Rise of the Smart Notary. It's an absolute must read for every new notary. Even if you've been in the notary industry for a while, there's so many things in here that you can learn. And what I like about it is how straightforward it is. Now, he's not going to tell you what you want to hear. He's not one of those guys. So I think that's one reason why I gravitate towards him. He's absolutely amazing. Definitely, definitely highly recommend him. So if you guys have any questions, just reach out to him. If you have any questions, you can reach out to me as well. And let's get this show on the road. Wish you guys much success.